Um, I've got one more story, and it's a quickie, but it's a fun one, and it's a follow-up. All right, and we're going to talk about Clarence Thomas. Everyone's <clears throat> the billionaire's favorite Supreme Court justice. Right? Good old Clarence. Oh. So a few weeks ago or a couple of months ago, we did a ProPublica story about how he had accepted gifts from Harlan Crow, which is a billionaire. Um, he had accepted some vacations, and as it turns out, Crow had paid for his nephew or something to go to some elite prep school. But as it turns out, they have ProPublica has done a follow-up story to this, and they have found even more billionaires who have been treated to Clarence Thomas, who have, who treated him to luxury travel. So, well, why is this not working here? Oh, I know why. I mean, there is a reason why he was a very quiet Supreme Court judge and didn't talk a lot. <laughs> He was having right. fun. Yeah. So here's here it is by the numbers. You've got 38 destination vacations. This is since the 1990s. All right. 26 private jet flights. I know I've had uh, almost that many. Not. Yeah. yeah. 12 VIP yeah. passes to professional <laughs> and college sporting events. Eight helicopter flights and two stays at luxury re resorts and one standing invitation to an exclusive members only golf club. All right. Yeah. The total value of what he is known to have received since 1991, the year he was appointed, is difficult to measure, but it's likely in the millions. I was waiting for that. Um, <laughs> yeah. What we do know is that these industry titans have given him a stream of luxury vacations that is both more extensive and, former, and from a wider circle than it's been previously understood. And the benefactors underwriting... Mm. His leisure activities share the same ideology that drives his jurisprudence. Huh. Go figure. All right. His first billionaire benefactor is likely Wayne Huizenga. And it's not even... Now, Huizenga, <laughs> I believe, died. Uh, I don't even believe that he's alive at this point. God bless um, you. But he uh, famously was the owner of... He, um, he owned AutoNation and founded AutoNation, which was at the time the largest car dealership group in the world. Yes. Um, he then went on to buy the Miami Dolphins and bring the Florida Marlins, be part of the group that brought the Florida Marlins into baseball yep. to South Florida. Like he's a big, big dude. But for 20 years, Thomas benefited from his atten his attention going to see the Miami Dolphins, Florida Panthers, teams he owned several times between the mid-90s, mid-2000s. He was picked up by his personal 737 at least twice in the mid-2000s. And Heisinga gave Thomas something priceless at the time, that standing invitation to his uber-exclusive golf club, the Floridian. Anytime you want, come play Money golf. Money is there. Yeah. All right. He died in 2018, and his son, who is the president of the family's holding company, did not respond to multiple requests for comment. Go figure. Yeah. You, think this is, you think this is one of the reasons why corporations are now people? Maybe. Uh, probably. Yeah. Almost like that, huh? Yeah. Right. Um, right. Ne died. Next, they're going to have private jets be people. Now, you know? in fairness, so, in fairness, ProPublica has not identified any legal cases that Heisenga had at Supreme Court during his documented relationship with Thomas, although he worked in an industry significantly impacted by the court's decisions, meaning the automotive industry, the finance industry. He had several industries, including pro sports. So while some of the hospitality, such as stays in personal homes, may not have been required, have may not have required disclosure, he appears to have violated the law by failing to disclose flights, yacht cruises, and expensive sports tickets, according to ethics experts. And there is his financial disclosure showing that he received none gifts in 2021. Uh-huh. Mm. But there's a picture of him on the sidelines at University of Nebraska football. But what about other justices? So you've got other that a few justices have few restrictions on what they can accept. Other members of the court have accepted travel underwritten by wealthy business people. Stephen Breyer accepted a Nantucket wedding flight from a Democratic mega donor. RBG took a tour of Israel and Jordan paid for by an Israeli billionaire. Hmm. You never hear about that. Right? No. But none of that. None took the extent of largesse that Thomas well, has 
actually it's it's written on the back of the like plush doll they sell um next to the barbies but um they have it on the back of that Briar and yes, RBG. this was just a gift this Briar is not RBG, right next to wonder woman <laughs> Briar and rbg did disclose them at least they reported them and said hey i got this stuff so it was on the record i mean they, it was and did it did it affect yeah. their legislation i don't know but he's saying here he's there's probably stuff off the record right. too but you know this job is not like, worth doing for what they pay but it's worth doing for the principal uh-huh that's what he once said when he complained the sack that he sacrificed wealth to sit on the court he's worth like millions all right it's just the height of hypocrisy to wear the robes and live the lifestyle of a billionaire and that's what oge and senior ethics official in the government says right so here's what i loved and and how deep they went for this story we examined white data emails from airport university officials tax court filings and a trove of photographs from personal albums including cards thomas's wife Ginny, sent to friends like they went deep we also interviewed more than 100 eyewitnesses and other sources jet and helicopter pilots flight attendants airport workers yacht crew members hey what do you remember about this th this trip right security guards photographers waitresses waitresses caterers chefs drivers rafter river rafting guides and c-suite executives they asked everybody about river, this riverboat guards right and a free stay at, guards and a free stay at state at st james right right, right. Yeah. little we'll st james exactly right where's the <laughs> epstein connection exactly so these are some of the photos and here's how yeah. they described their luxury travel to their friends right in tracking this right the cards show this, that they went with peggy and rick and, and uh and david suckle peggy. right cards show them in florida with 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 the billionaires and they're hanging out best florida movie theater with friends that's literally like their private home movie theater right there right yes yep sun and fun and Four lucky couples. They were joined by by other couples, including one of the justices' most vocal advocates, Mark Paoletta, who then worked for the federal government and his wife. The Sokols took four lucky couples to the first Nebraska football game of the season. And they misspelled the word football, by the way. <laughs> right? But then they went to this yes. paintbrush ranch just outside Jackson Hole, Wyoming. And there's... That's, wow. That sounds like the sequel to Brokeback Mountain, if I've ever heard of it. Yeah. The property is um, valued in the low eight figures in Wyoming, in Jackson Hole. Like, that's $10 million up. $10 million. I'm sorry, whose hole? I'm not going there. What? Yeah. <laughs> um, yep. And here's the river rafting uh -huh. trip they, the, at the Teton Range. At one point, the Paoletta serenaded the justice with a song that they wrote about him. Oh, God, it's nauseating. There, there it is. There's a, there's a picture of them singing their song, like literally. Ugh, so gross. That's pretty and awesome. That's pretty awesome. He makes us so much money. And we love him loser? very much. He's a top <laughs> former executive for Warren Buffett at Berkshire Hathaway, who now runs a private equity firm and chairs a holding company that owns a large international shipping and our utility corporation right since so, so they've donated more than a million dollars to republican politicians and groups along with smaller amounts to democrats yeah they brought they butter both sides and that's the whole yes. point yep shameless gross like and i love that they can actually like find this stuff online because clarence thomas just he don't give a fuck go ahead what are you gonna do you're gonna come no, after it's, him honey badger Great. no it's open it's out and open i mean they now, don't care. They can't do nothing to us. That's basically what they're saying. This article, right. now, I just showed you it in a bunch of screenshots, but this article actually goes a whole lot deeper. If you go to ProPublica.org, they're an outstanding watchdog, watchdog organization. Um, big fan of theirs. <laughs> they did really kind of poorly on election integrity. They did something called election land that I did not like, but most of their reporting is actually pretty pretty damn good. And this is yeah. really good. They went after um, Scalia also in the last mm -hmm. year or so to look at how he was funded. And there's, yeah, we've got a, a corrupt Supreme Court that has lifetime appointments I mean, and tremendous power and influence. 
I mean, I would think if anyone was a lizard person, it's definitely Scalia. I'm just saying. I I think that when you want to have, like, if you're the most corrupt and you want a great spot in government, it's the Supreme Court. You're there for life, you can do whatever you want, and you're good. Hmm. Yeah. All right. Um, Yeah. Hey, so we got we got through our stories, everyone. All right. Uh, hour and a half, right on time, right where I wanted to be. Um, Chris, you know you know how we do things here. Uh, you might want to switch the pin from me to Reef on Zoom yep. uh, so that we can now go into boats smashing into other boats, oh. which is our show within a show, and we're going to do some Reddit React and do Reef's been curating some funny shit all week long or all day or so, and... Uh, and let's let's do that. So let's let's do some boats. But yeah, by the way, thank you to Chris. Love having you here. Appreciate your article. Um, Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you for reading it. Yeah, yeah, and more of it. But <laughs> do more. Give us more. Give us more from the outside. That's what we need. We need more outside yeah. perspective for sure. But 